VP Racing is all about performance fuels, including SEF small engine fuel. It contains no ethanol, ensuring easier starts, worry-free long-term storage, and fewer repairs. Check out SEF, the perfect fuels for gas-powered tools. Hi, Matthew Johnson here on uh, stage 15 right before the cars go back to service. So the afternoon set of stages began after service that happened after stage 10. The two open class front cars, David Higgins, Ken Block, were separated by one tenth of a second. That's why we're here. We're here. We want to show you a little more action before we rush up to service ourselves to get the rest of the story. Since we've been gone, since we left service, we have found out that Leo uh, had a uh, steering arm come loose, like a, a yeah, steering arm come loose, exited the stage and ran into a tree. We know that he's okay, co-driver's okay, uh, but the, it doesn't sound like the car is in great shape. We haven't seen the car or yet been able to speak to Leo, but he's clearly out of the open class battle right now. Back here in service after stage 15, we're all very eager to see what's happened in the open class after they left here one-tenth of a second apart. Craig Drew, co-driver with David Higgins, uh, fighting for the lead here. Um, have you seen the summation of stages through yeah, stage I know 15? where we lie at the moment, yeah. Would you like to share that with us? Yeah, sure, yeah. We're lying second at the moment. We're 12.6 uh, seconds behind Ken, who's leading. Um, we've had some issues with bogey times on the last loop of stages. Uh, we've both beaten the bogey times on a couple of stages because the stages are so fast. So we're averaging over 80 mile an hour, basically, on the stages. Um, we've had terrible issues with dust this afternoon. Um, even though we have a two minute gap, luckily at the front, the dust is still blinding at times. So we're, I think they worked on getting a three minute gap for us this evening because it's always worse at night. But um, 
I think it's still going to be a big disadvantage for us for sure. Is there a specific stage or moment you think gave away those times? Did you have a spin or anything because of the dust? We had a spin first thing this morning, but um, no, this afternoon, uh, just very, very fast stages. But you're coming up, even though you've got faith in your notes, if you can't see where you're going, you're always going to naturally back off a little bit. And there's, there's times when we're having a flat crest 200, and on the crest, you're still kind of backing off a bit because you're not quite sure where you are. Obviously, if your first car on the road and you haven't got those issues, you know everything's flat because you can see it. So I think that's, that's generally where we're losing our time. We went out and did the super specials, did great there. Uh, on the very next stage, I um, I exited a corner. It was in a straightaway, but it was in the straightaway with the sun right in my face and the dust and everything. So I got a little bit off to the right, and I hit a rock, right, r both right side tires flat. So I finished oh. the stage. I put a, a, our one spare on the right front and then begged you know, the next 10 cars for a tire. Um, and Roman Pacos, thank you. <laughs> I won't name the people that didn't give me a tire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we put that spare on. And then the next stage, the motor overheated uh, all the way pegged red. Uh, so the that head was stage 15. Yep, the head gasket's probably shot. But uh, as long as we put water to it after every stage, we've done this before. This is kind of a super production type thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, We'll just keep putting water to it. We'll limp it home. As long as uh, it didn't get too hot for too long, it should survive. Is the car running successfully today? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, I have a big impact, a uh, little impact, but broke uh, suspension this side. So uh, lose time, but uh, it's yeah. life, it's rally. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time we've heard that. Uh, we saw you at the end of 15 where it's um, you know, some crest and some turns with ditches and stuff. You looked very clean. I almost, I think I could see you smiling when you drove by. <laughs> it's true, it's true. When you see the fantastic road, when you see that the car is on the control, it's very nice, but of course, the feeling to push properly 100% is still not there. It's still <laughs> not inside. You know, it's a very fast uh, road here. It's not easy to control everything by the car because if you go out from the lane, yes. it's easy to make a proper sideway. But the good thing is we finally found out that our fuel injector was bad all rally long and uh, we finally got power back. Power's back. Yeah, so uh, car shifting points, as you know, when you come into a corner, you actually pick the gear before you kind of power through the corner. And the, the whole makeup of the car is different now. And I'm relearning how to drive the car. And it's, it's a lot more fun. It was fun before, but now it's even a step above that. So, David, can you give us uh, 10 words or less about your plans for the next couple stages? It's going to be 100% dust dependent. If, we have the, if there's no dust, then I think it's game on. If, the, if we hit the dust like we had for the last three stages, then it's going to be too big a risk to, to risk it. But we'll see what happens. We're, I'm happy in the dark. I like the dark. I've had some good times in the dark. But obviously, when you get the dust thrown in with it, it's, it, it's, it's when we've got a, a, a championship opportunity to pull some big points here. Um, we've got to we've got to have that in mind as well. But the last few say were horrendous to us. But you know we're not giving in. We're going to make it hard for the guy anyway. That's the main hey, thing. Hey, we appreciate the entertainment. We wish you luck. You have buddy. fun. How did things go wrong? No, we were really pushing hard to uh, stay ahead of ACP, and we had a very very good uh, stage 13, mm -hmm. stage 14. He was pushing about the same. Just got a tiny bit too wide on a corner, and the loose stuff was looser than everywhere else. And it just caused the car to snap around, and at that point we were along for the ride. So cool. Yeah. Thank you, Oli. We'll let okay. you attend to business. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Okay. Yeah, we're in second place. Uh, unfortunately, we were right behind McNally when he rolled. More unfortunate for him, but we lost a bunch of time in his dust. So we've had three consecutive legs of following somebody broken in the dust. But the car is hauling ass, and uh, we're pushing hard, and we did haul up into second. Uh, so now the thing is, the three of us, second, third, and fourth, are covered by eight seconds. Yeah, uh, we're in second, seven seconds back is Dylan Van Way, and one second back of him is McNally. So we've got 15 miles left and we're wide open. Hey, hammer down, good yeah. luck, we'll see you in Salem. Thanks, Thanks for the time, awesome.
the tougher ones just because setting up the car and uh, getting a puncture this morning and uh, David was just really good competition so I really enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun really happy that uh, the first stage rally with this car was successful and uh, I got number six you know, I had some good luck last night and ended up with some bad luck today, but hey, we, we stuck to it and, and kept to the game plan and we're here on the podium at the end. So very happy. So six, six here. I like this place. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think now we, we sit here now thinking, oh God, we're second. When we get on the plane tomorrow and look at the championship lead that we've got, we'll be seeing it in a different story. But right at the moment, we feel like we've lost. But tomorrow, I think we'll see it in a different light. And, you know, it's been, it's been a really, really good fun battle all weekend. It's been so close. Okay. Ken's lost some time with the bogeys more than we have as well, but that's rallying and it's, it's, it's been a battle and it's been, it's been good fun. So we were pr pretty much dead even going into the final two stages without the penalties and it's one of those things that, you know, you still got to push and you still got to be clean, and, but it's the last two stages of the rally. The other thing was we finally found our brake problem, so the last two stages were fun and, you know, the car was finally working, so we're all set up for next event, but the, this one ended, which was sad because now the car's finally working well. So it's um, We're just happy to be here at the end and still be on the podium. Uh, you know, not exactly the result we wanted because we were in the lead for most of the weekend, uh, but that's kind of how it goes, you know, a couple little mistakes, uh, um, and all of a sudden you're behind. Did the rally go as you expected? Yeah, yeah, you know, we're here on the podium on top of it uh, with a decent lead. Not an issue, no flats, no big problems at all. So that's, that's how we like to do it.